E what's up budget billers? My name is Trail, better known as Budget Bill, and this is your fourth stimulus check update and stimulus package update for Saturday, May the 29th. Good morning everyone and happy three-day weekend. Could people in California receive another Golden State stimulus check? Well, depending on the new California comeback plan that's on the table right now, it could provide an additional $500 stimulus check. Also, the Republicans have approved of an infrastructure package near $1 trillion. But the question is, will the Democrats accept it while they can? And we also have a new way for people to win $1 million by simply taking action to protect you and your family. I'm going to tell you guys all the details about it, but first, if this is your first time to the channel, hey, welcome and glad to have you. On this channel, we talk about finance, real estate, credit cards, Bitcoin and crypto, and stimulus update news. So if you're interested in any of those, go ahead and hit the subscribe button for me. That way you can join our community. Also, if you end up liking the content in this video or even laughing at one of my jokes, then be sure to like this video. Other than that, guys, hey, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Okay guys, the one state that seemed to be in a lot of debt during the peak of the pandemic, which has also caused a lot of people to move out of the state, has suddenly inherited a surplus in their budget. Yep, California of course. They now have a staggering $75.7 billion in their budget surplus. But that's not the best part, because they are actually wanting to share that with their residents in the sunny state. Or should I say the golden state? Well, apparently the original $600 Golden State stimulus was not enough money, which we know that to be a fact. And now they want to offer people a second Golden State stimulus, but this time it will be a $500 check. A few days ago, Governor Gavin Newsom announced a $100 billion California comeback plan as they have received a large amount from the government from the American Rescue Plan, which some people considering this a very generous plan as a way to save Governor Newsom's job, but we will talk about that in just a moment. The new California comeback plan is set to offer an additional $500 stimulus check to families with dependents and $500 to undocumented families. Now, previously in order to qualify for the $600 Golden State stimulus check, you had to make under $30,000 per year. With the new offer that's on the table, the income threshold is much higher. The governor has stated that the new Golden State State stimulus checks will be for individuals who make less than $75,000 per year, which is more than double of the original threshold. Governor Newsom said two out of every three Californians will receive a check of at least $600 and families with kids will receive another $500 check. Now, one of the bigger questions is, can Governor Newsom save California or also can he save his job? A growing number of its residents are packing up and moving out. Experts say over the past decade, around 150,000 people have left the state. The U.S. Census Bureau says California had a net loss of 190,000 people last year. I'm out of here. Yeah. When, when do you leave? Soon. Yeah. Texas or? Yeah, I'm going to go to Texas. So many Californians are not happy with the way the governor has handled the shutdowns during the pandemic, as well as the way he has handled homelessness and the high tax rates in that state. So you end up seeing a plethora of people moving out or leaving the sunny state and flocking to cheaper and more tax-friendly states. One of my favorite YouTubers, Graham Stephan, left California and moved across the street to Las Vegas. Then we saw Joe Rogan leave, and then we also saw Ben Chaperone leave and we even saw the Tesla man himself or the Dogecoin father Elon Musk leave California and by the way Shapiro and Elon Musk moved to the right state Texas my home state guys <laughs> But not only are people leaving California, its residents are calling for a recall to remove Governor Newsom and get someone else to do a better job, which actually one of my other favorite YouTubers, Meet Kevin, is running against Newsom.
Newsom for the next governor of California. But where will this all turn up in the end? It appears that Californians still don't have enough votes to recall as expected. There are still a lot of people who still support Newsom and his efforts in the state. Do any of you guys watching this video right now live in California? If so, what do you guys think about the people moving out and whether Newsom should be replaced or not? He's still providing another Golden State stimulus check. Let me know your thoughts down below. Now for the stimulus update news, the Republicans have approved of a $1 trillion infrastructure package on Friday as a counter offer to Biden's stimulus plan. Originally, Biden's infrastructure plan was asking for about $2.2 trillion until he wiped about $500 billion in an effort to move the needle towards a bipartisan stimulus plan. But as most people know, the Republicans are not wanting to play fair and they don't want to offer any additional stimulus aid as they feel the country is already turning around just fine. Obviously, Republicans are in the dark and don't understand the millions of Americans that are still struggling from multiple areas, such as food insecurities, potential eviction, job losses, and homelessness, and a reduction of unemployment benefits in half of the states in America. And oh yeah, and not to forget our most vulnerable Americans, our seniors, and our social security recipients. Most of the time, they don't have the option to go out and look for a new job like most people do. They are on a fixed income and depend on their monthly government checks. That's usually not enough money to cover the rising drug prices and the recent rise in food prices. As everyone else continues to receive additional stimulus checks, our seniors and social security recipients are still left in the dark. But the latest infrastructure package or the American Families Plan could offer a way to help those in need right now with some additional stimulus money that could go a long way. But now that the Republicans are open to spending $1 trillion, or should I say $928 billion to be exact, will the Democrats move the needle again to get the bipartisan support that President Biden really wants to achieve? But on the other hand, progressives are no longer wanting to wait for bipartisan support when it comes to working with the Republicans. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer said that they are ready to move forward with the next stimulus package with or without the Republicans. While Bernie Sanders said, if we continue to drag out conversations with the GOP, it could cost us to lose Congress for the Democrats. Everyone knows that the Senate Minority Leader, Mitch McConnell, has made it very clear that their main objective is to stop the current administration from getting anything done. So the idea of the Democrats even entertaining this counter offer proposal from the GOP could really be a waste of time, especially knowing that the GOP have made it clear that they will not support anything that is projected to raise taxes for the rich and the wealthy individuals. They want the tax breaks to remain the same so that Jeff Bezos can continue to make billions of dollars in profits while paying less in taxes than you and I. But what do you guys think about this? Do you think that they should entertain this new counter offer from the GOP? You know President Biden really wants that bipartisan package really, really bad. He has been stuck on getting support from the GOP since he came into office. But do you think it is a lost cause or do you think he actually has a chance to make a difference in Washington? Yeah, right. Personally, I don't think so, guys. As long as they have Mitchie McConnell in office and the wealthy and corporations will continue to make billions while paying zero in taxes. But let me know your thoughts down below. I'm curious to see what you guys think about this. And last but not least, y'all remember the attack on Capitol Hill on January the 6th that ended up leaving six people dead? Well, the Democrats are trying to pass legislation that would investigate the insurrection. Frankly, I thought that they already investigated it, but apparently not. They are right now trying to perform an official investigation. And on Friday, yesterday, the Republicans, along with Mitch McConnell, blocked legislation to do so. Only six Republicans voted in favor of this bill. Bernie Sanders blasted his Republican colleagues in the Senate who blocked the bipartisan bill to establish the investigation. Bernie Sanders said, it is a painful day for American democracy that Senate Republicans block legislation creating a commission to investigate the January 6th insurrection. Today in America, democracy is under assault and authorization 
conspiracy theories, and political violence are on the rise. He went on to blame Republicans for being intimidated by the former president, Donald Trump. Sanders said that they are too intimidated by Trump to do the right thing. I actually saw someone on Twitter compare the blocking by the Republicans to their support of the Monica Lewinsky scandal in 1998, saying that the Republicans pushed for a long drawn out investigation of the former president, Bill Clinton, and whether he had relations with Monica Lewinsky while president. And now that six people were killed during an attack on the government property by a lot of bad people, the Republicans are not interested in supporting such an investigation. My thoughts are this is one or two things. Number one, the power that Trump has on 70 million Americans. And number two, this is just straight up politics at its best. But hey, I will let you guys be the judge of that. You know what to do. And now let's go ahead and talk about this new $1 million lottery ticket. Some states and cities are offering $1 million to incentivize people to get a vaccination shot. 22 year old Abby in Ohio is the recent winner of $1 million just because she was willing to get vaccinated. Other states like California, Ohio, Colorado, and Michigan are all counting on cash prizes to incentivize people to get their vaccinations. As the more people get it, the better off the economy will bounce back strong again. Do any of you want $1 million for your vaccination shot? I sure would love to. And real quick guys, pretty much all of the crypto coins and cryptocurrencies are about 50% cheaper than their all time highs. So if you thought Bitcoin was too high before, it's about 50% less right now, which means a good opportunity to get it on sale as well as Ethereum. Those are the two main cryptocurrencies on the market, which I am a believer in both of them. And I am definitely buying them at these low prices. Remember to only invest in what you are willing to lose. And don't forget guys, I am not a financial advisor. I'm just a YouTuber. I am just sharing with you what I am doing with my own money. So if you ever wanted to an opportunity to buy some Bitcoin or Ethereum or any other crypto coins, this is the right time to do so. And anyways, guys, hey, this has been another Force Stimulus Check update for today. Day. If you enjoyed any of this information or found it to be useful, be sure to hit the like button for me. It definitely helps out a lot and it also tells YouTube to share this video with others. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button for me so that you can be a part of this community and hit the notification bell to be notified of each new video. Again, as always, hey, I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching and I hope to see you on the next video. Peace.